Hello everybody, welcome back to Thief. We've made it to the clock tower, so let's have a look around, see what's the deal about this one. I seem to remember it's some sort of a uh, starting off point for the open world area of the game. Okay, nothing in the stash, okay. Guess I can sp store spares or certain equipment in there. Unique loot, yeah, that's fine. So this is my collections, okay. Okay, upstairs we go then. Aha, cutscene. Secret messages. Meet Basso at the crippled Burrick. Okay, well, first things first, I want to check out this upper level quickly. Okay, nothing of interest there. Sure, let's go to Stone Market. Sure. It's a passing thing, sir. I'm sure of it, not the gloom. In two days, send men to claim his property for the crest, and have them bring a car. Hmm. Okay. And this is the kind of open world-ish portion of the game. Where I'm free to just run about wherever I like. Um... If I go to the map, yep. Okay, so I need to get over there. Fair enough. Doesn't look like there's much else going on right now, so that's my primary objective. Let's get to it. Okay. No, I'm not seeing anything shining. That's good. Just wanted to be sure on that one. Head over to the Burrick. In a bit. Oh. That will piss Hello. Myself. Might wash the taste of sloop from my mouth. Here. There we go. One gold coin. Totally worth it. Ooh, there's something shining over there as well, though. Mm. How to get to it, though? That's the question. I'm thinking maybe I can get onto that pipe there. Ugh, hungry. Yeah, maybe not. Streets are so quiet now. Okay, well, if I look at it logically, it looks like I'm trying to get to there. I might be able to go around that way. Okay. Take a look and see. Arrows can be used to break pulleys from a distance. Okay. Good to know. Ha! There we go. Five gold in a coin purse. That some 
crow or something had managed to make off with. Same nightmares every night. Yeah. Oh, it won't let me scroll to the water arrow, okay. Let's get the water arrow out. Come on. Why won't not why won't it let me select my water arrow? I'm oh, There we go. Okay, that was weird. I got it now though. Okay. Uh is there any particular Ten. reason I would have wanted to go here? Ten! And this one's the worst of the lot. You can't blame him for the gloom. Oh, how about that his watch are thugs in uniforms? I don't know. You listen to him talk, he believed in what he was doing. Running this place takes a firm hand. He wanted to improve things. Aye, he's so proud of his improvements that him and his firm hand haven't crossed the river in a year. Like I said, worst of the lot. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm getting a little distracted here. Let's uh, let's focus up. We're supposed to be going over to the crippled barrack, so let's go ahead and do that. End up a rat show if I'm not careful. Over here, and this way. Go. Ooh. Oh, that's tempting. Bear with me a moment, I uh, just want to quick, take a quick detour through here, just to see if there's anything of value. Okay. Bunch of lockers, is that? Hmm, not sure. Hit the lights, there we go. This, is this the city watch house? It might be, actually. Regards the reports from your quacks on handling the gloom situation, I propose that you draft a new report based on the following guidelines. I want to encourage a steady flow of gloomers through the works for processing. Upwards of 100 a day should suffice. I understand the sickness can develop with dramatic speed. Indeed, a man who might have appeared perfectly well at evening could be found on a death cart come the morning. In that case, his house should be also be thoroughly cleared before condemnation. Your assistance in this matter will be greatly appreciated, the Thief Taker General. Okay. Curious. Oh. That was loud, but I don't think there are anybody anywhere about, so I think I'm okay. New news document, the lockdown. Streets rang with the cries of the watch, ever vigilant against the ongoing plight of the gloom. The great gates closed, the curfew was called, and nary a was a dutiful citizen seen in the streets. Captain of the watch, Orsley Durham, called it the most successful quarantine measure to date. This lockdown is for the safety of our valued citizens, he said, overseeing the closure of Traitor's Gate this evening. And we have the Baron to thank for everything, he added, before returning to Dayport. What a truly modest hero of the city. <laughs> and what have we got here? Same nightmares. Watch report 3498. By Watchguard Munion. Summary weapon store 6C moved to the Black Alley stash. All armaments inspected and logged by guards Munion and Koss. Black Alley stash, okay. That'd be Every interesting. Night. Okay, let's see if there's anything of value in here. Ooh. Letter opener worth six gold. Good start. Mm 
10 gold pen. Okay, yeah. And now I think it's time for the big boy. Safe. Okay. Talk to me, my safety friend. There we go. Uh, come on, somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Doesn't feel safe on the streets. The safes can be a little bit tricky to find the sweet spot. There we go. Okay, here we go. I'm in. Baron's bust worth 80 gold. Nice. That was well worth the trip. Okay. I think that's everything of value from in here. I'm curious about that blue sheen there. It's interesting. That seems to just like a transition point or something because you get that sort of blue sheen on the windows there as well but there wasn't anything happening with that other one so I'm not sure on that one okay well that was a fun little detour but it's time to get back to work There's the barrack itself. The sound of horse hooves. Now you're talking. <laughs> it's been months since I've had a bowl of horse meat for me. Rats everywhere. Watch out for these guards. Gotta be careful. I imagine they probably have orders to attack me on sight, regardless of whether or not I'm actually committing any crimes at the time. Okay. Here we go. Yes, I would like to enter the crippled barrack. <sighs> I would have went for the pickle jar bass in a lot more weight. So you still can't work a door. You don't come to see me, you don't write. <laughs> I thought both you and Aaron had been killed in the mansion attack. Where the hell have you been? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Fine, forget it. Far be it for me to pry about where you've been for the last fucking year. I don't have time for this. Uh, especially with the Baron's new duty on opium, thanks to this gloom sickness, not to mention the Thief Taker General's black tax squeezing us entrepreneurs. If you got a job for me, let's hear it. <laughs> Are you sure you're up to it? Okay, so here's the gig. <laughs> I need you to obtain a ring for me. Getting married? <laughs> Never again. <coughs> ah, you mangy bird. I swear one day I'm gonna have you made into a hat. And lose the brains of the uh, outfit. <laughs> I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> Good job, Basso. Good yeah, job. Yeah, 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 right. Uh, belongs to a guy named uh, Cornelius Greaves, one of those hoity-toity types who doesn't have any shit on his boots. Ah, ah. here you go. What's the catch? Eh, uh, he's dead. I'm a thief, Basso, not a grave robber. Only recently deceased. My sources say he never took the ring off. Doesn't seem much of a challenge. Ah, challenge. We'll be getting to him before the Carters pick him over. Rumor has it they've been taking bodies to that old uh, foundry near Cinderfall, crawling with the Baron's guards for some reason. Now, the best way to that place is through the old chapel. 
And, uh, don't screw this up, Garrett. Some of us still need to pay our dues. You can't tax what you can't catch. <laughs> yeah, 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 get out of here. And you use the door? Please? <sighs> still. It's good to see you. Well, he's a character. Okay, Basso often has side jobs to complete. Check with him regularly to see what he has lined up. Okay. Is it, lift her price? Yes, it's the crowd. Is it the Queen of Beggars? Stock up on supplies at the Shady Merchant. Okay. So yeah, that that little uh, conversation dropped a few bombs. Well, people shut up for a moment. So, apparently, I've, Garrett's been out for a year. That seems a bit much. Oh, treason, okay. Paul over the Golden Age. Last night, on the eve of the Summer's Day Festival, a cowardly attempt was made to assassinate Baron Northcrest himself. A black powder plot at Northcrest Manor resulted in a great blast that could be heard echoing across the city. With a sense of great relief, surely shared by all our fellow citizens, we can report the Baron survived the deplorable act. Already, the fine members of the City Watch move to bring those involved to swift justice. It is the view of the Watch that there is no cause for panic in the streets. However, they remind all loyal to the Baron that it is your duty to report any seditious talk you might overhear. Remember, poison words can lead to poison deeds. Okay. So yeah, we've been out for a year, apparently. Um, do you mind if I? I'm glad I don't have a take this out. I get the feeling she wouldn't last two seconds without going all doe-eyed over a bad man like you. <laughs> uh. Need to stock up. Also, he was talking about the foundry that we read about in that watch report, which is interesting. Seems like the uh, government has an interest in the dead. Lately, uh, any other jobs for you? If you're looking for extra coin, I got some jobs you can help me with. Best contracts in the city. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at these sick the Willy. Fortune to the black tax, Garrett. Take a job and help your old friend out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steal Sick Willy's golden watch. Sick Willy deserves everything that's coming to him. He used to lord it all over Black Farrow with his golden pocket watch, but he still cheated his horse out of coin every you, chance Garrett. that he got. Will well, you know, shut up? Don't you? I reckon his days are numbered. Sure enough, what with the gloom and his raging syphilis. Syphilis. I want that watch before some lucky breaker snaps it. Garrett. Okay. You with the stealing, me with the charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay, Beauty Within, steal the hand mirror. Word is there's a last down Baron's way, got herself a bunch of charming suitors and the press and the Take pretty presents time, to Garrett. brute. Not like I'm going anywhere tonight. Please stop doing that. <laughs> One of them brought her a silver hand mirror oh, that'd be a perfect trade. gift for my comfort. Go on, free the lovely lady of the tyranny no of beauty. Jobs here. You'd be doing her That's a favour. guarantee. Okay, medical mystery misery, even. Steal the medication bottle. There's word of yet another miracle gloom tonic on the streets, but this one's meant to be based Take on actual time, medicine. Not like I'm going anywhere. Doctor Troy claims to have Kills brewed a remedy, but he's keeping it locked up in his shop. Get your hands on a sample, and we can find ourselves rolling it, rolling in coin, all in the valiant name of curing the sick. Just sure. the job I would have picked. Whiting wrongs. Steal the thief manuscript. Red Jenny's knickers. Turns out one of my clients was a wordsman. An author, he's written a book about, about the so-called filthy the underbelly of the wine, city, the women, starring yours the truly. That don't smell of shit. Find him in Black That's Farrow and life. make sure his manuscript never sees the light of day. I've got a reputation to uphold. You okay. got hammers to take that one. Okay, machinations. I've got a new job for you from a faded old hobnob up in Stone Market. One of the Baron's engineers has taken a shine to independence. I've lost a fortune to the black tax guy. Shut Garrett. up! Take a job and help your old friend out. Hector's his name. He's an odd one, all right, but the pay's good. And sticking it to Baron might make any medicine go down just fine. Okay. I knew you'd like that one. Don't let okay. anyone catch you black-handed. Yeah, sure, sure. Now, enjoy the darkness. That's your penalty for talking all over me. Okay. If you're buying, I'm selling. So... 
This area looks like it's reasonably clear of watch. <coughs> so I think I'm safe to go head off this way. Yep. Hello. Stop Apparently you're who up. I'm supposed to talk to. Okay. I have something for all your nefarious needs. Okay, good to hear. Okay, what have we got? We got buy resources, sell resources, buy tools and upgrades, and buy trinkets. Okay. Okay, these are little side upgrades. Okay. Okay, this one looks like it's going to be worth picking up early. Reduce cost of resources by 25%. Benefits of food. Capacity of poppies and food. Hmm. That's handy. Damage taken from burning and traps. Reduces the chance of being hit by enemy projectiles. Okay. Increases maximum focus. Yeah, Basso's Bond is definitely something I want to pick up nice and early. I'll purchase that now. If you don't mind, thank you very much. I had the coin, fortunately. Now I don't have the coin for anything else, but... I can look into what I could pick up. So, wrench. Used to open grates and remove bolted plaques. Okay, that's worth... That's going to cost me a thousand. Bow balancing reduces aiming time. Bow shot strength increases ammo damage. Quiver capacity increases capacity of arrows, obviously. Lever hardening reduces damage taken. Blackjack damage increases damage, yep. Lockpick quality increases lockpicking sensitivity. Okay, so wrench and lockpick quality are the primary goals here with quiver capacity being the next one I kind of want to look into. Looks like I've already got the first tier of all of these. Which is good to know. Okay, uh, so resources, broadhead arrows, fire arrows, water arrows, choke arrows, rope arrows, blunt arrows, flash bombs, poppies and food. Okay. Don't think I need to stock up on any of that just yet. Um, ah, here we go. I was hoping it would actually show me how many I had at some point, but <laughs> there it is. Because <laughs> I'm wondering if it's worth me selling anything. Probably not. It's only going to sell for 13 gold, and I'm not going to get to the 300 I need. Stick to the shadows. Okay, visit the Queen of Beggars. Go to the Chapel on the Morning side. Well, first things first, I want to have a quick look around in here. See if there's any money to be had. I'm not allowed to put out any, any lights around here. Okay, more newspaper documents. North Quest Unbowed. Following the week's hangings, Baron Northcrest delivered a short address today, his first since the shocking attempt on his very life. The gathered crowd were visibly moved at the sight of our Iron Leader, who, much like his metal namesake, has proved unbending in adversity. Though the Baron's speech was several hours shorter than his usual oratory, he maintained his plans of, for the city were clearer than ever before and more urgent. If only the hated conspirators would live to witness his indomitable spirit, then be executed anew. Sadly, the Lady Vivian, always her favourite among her loyal citizenry, was once again absent. The returning procession was cheered across the length of the bridge, nonetheless. Okay. That's how it started with the upstairs neighbours. How did it finish then? I came to the barrack. He didn't go back. Right. Is there any money I can have in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and go see this, uh, madam. Okay, this is the morning side, apparently. 
And I think we're back out into the open worldish bit, so I need to be wary of guards again. And on the lookout for gold. Okay, don't see any guards around here. Remember old Tully kept the collection. Ah, that's not how it went. Uh-huh. Where exactly am I going here? <laughs> I'll keep an eye open in case there's an opportunity. Please don't do that. In case there's an opportunity to make a bit more cash. That uh, bond of bassos wasn't exactly cheap. Okay, I'm at the graveyard now, apparently. That's the last of them. There'll be more tomorrow. I'm starting to think they're the lucky ones. Lucky, eh? Some of these gloomers bite off their tongues to make it stop. Some push in their eyes or their ears. Luck wants nothing to do with this city. You guys don't have anything of value on you, do you? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Keep on looking. down here? No, not really. The old chapel on Morningside. The court of the Queen of Beggars. Ah, uh, if only I had the wrench. Oh, that was it. Not Madam something. It was Queen of Beggars. Okay. If only I had the wrench, I could get that plaque. Okay, well, I'll have to remember to come back here once I... once I've got the wrench. Okay, um... Anything of value here? Well, there's a newspaper. No old gods for the new city. This week, the Baron toured the sites of the recently demolished chapels in Dayport. He expressed his hope to return shortly for the for inauguration of the pipe houses that would replace them. While some historians expressed dismay at the reconstruction work, all were quick to agree that the city must move forwards. Perhaps the buildings held historical significance, the Barrows mm, generously debated, but they must make way for the significance of the future. Truly, the Baron may be the third North Quest to outlaw the worship of the Old Gods, but the first to move beyond them. The Great Keep will ultimately provide power for the whole district. Okay. I wonder what this Great Keep is. Hmm. Okay. Come on, let's get to this queen. The old chapel, yes. Let's enter. It's a lonely night. It's the best kind. Ah, uh, Garrett. You walk a path few would wish. That's the only one I know. Quite. You know what they say about me. That you know everything that happens in this city. Not everything. Just the important things. What brings you here? Seeking my counsel? A year ago, I was at the Northcrest Mansion. Something went wrong. What happened to me? What happened to Aaron? A year ago, men who believed themselves to know best tried to control something they didn't fully understand for their own ends. The balance has shifted. We can all feel it. That's your answer. When my beggars found you after the accident, they thought you were dead. But you were not dead. So we healed your broken body and brought you from the city to 
to keep you safe while we waited. But then, just after the gloom started, something began to wake you. It was time for you to return home. This city grows sick. It will tell you all in time, if you choose to listen. Careful, Garrett. There are worse things in the shadows than you. Okay. New focus point, okay. Earning focus points. Donate gold to the Queen of Beggars to receive focus points. Use focus points to enhance your focus abilities. Okay. Let's have a look at this then. Oh no. Okay. Ah, focus up. Okay, so here we go. So, intuition. Ah, I guess blue means that's the next one I would get. White is the one that I have already. Okay. So, highlights elements in the environment from a distance. Loot and interactive objects are blue. Threats and other dangerous elements are red. So, level 2 would get me the ability to know where unique loots and collection items are hidden. Handprints appear to reveal the paths. Okay. That could be useful. Dexterity, ability to quickly pickpocket multiple items from an unsuspecting person. And level 2, ability to visualise the inner workings of lock mechanisms. Increases the speed at which locks are picked. Okay. Sense, ability to visually detect noises and the threats from a short distance. And level 2, greatly increases the range. Okay. Combat, ability to stun opponent with a single blow. Focus vision activated to target the opponent's torso and press R. Okay. And level 2. Ability to knock out an opponent with a single blow. Okay. Speed. Slightly increases the speed of your actions during marksman combat and lock picking by slowing down the world around you. That's useful. Greatly increases the speed of your actions in level 2. Okay. Efficiency slightly reduces the consumption rate of focus energy. Marksman greatly amplifies your visual range when zoomed. Effect does not require focus to be activated. And level 2 greatly increases speed of accuracy. Okay. And stealth ability to move silently while using focus reduces the range of sounds you generate, including those produced on noisy surfaces. And level 2 is ability to stay concealed while using focus. For a short duration, keep the benefit of being in shadow when entering light. Okay. So, yeah, I'm thinking I'll get level 2 of intuition first, because I want to be able to see where the uh, unique loots and collection items are, because I missed something in that first chapter. So let's, let's grab that. There we go. Fully upgraded. Nice. Okay. Now I need to go to the old foundry. I'm just going to quickly backtrack and see if the Queen of Beggars has any... No, nope, I can't get in there. Okay. Oh, there she is. Okay. See if the Queen of Beggars has any upgrades I can afford. Doubt it. I don't have much gold left now. Yes, 150 for the next focus point. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, I think that will do it for this episode, though. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay bad.